Trojan Sports Now. Hello and welcome to Trojan Sports Now. I'm Amy Austin. And I'm Clay Ager. Stick around as we bring you the latest news and scores from Troy Athletics. The football team took on New Mexico State on Saturday for the homecoming game. The outcome to the game was exactly what the Trojans have been striving for. And a new spark led the Troy University football team to gain their first victory of the season over New Mexico State. The Trojans defeated the Aggies 41 to 24. We played with a lot of emotion and spirit, and uh, <clears throat> you know it was uh, it was a great day for Troy. It was a great day for me, and it was a great day for those uh, football players football at Troy University. The Trojans' first win came on homecoming as they led the Aggies the entire game. Head coach Larry Blakeney told his team to enjoy their hard work. It's been. Uh, it's been, it's been fun to watch them play, and I hope we got better from it. Uh, I think we did, and uh, I told them to, within reason, to really, you know, enjoy this win. And I've heard, you know, I've heard that somewhere lately, but I think it's important that they, that they, with, within reason and good decisions, enjoy this win. Have a good time. Let folks pat you on the back a little bit for playing good. The win marked Coach Blakeney's 176th win, tying him with Auburn Shug Jordan for the third most all-time wins in the state of Alabama. I bet you none of our players know about that. Uh, at least they don't know about that, that particular record from me. And uh, because the, the record is certainly at this juncture secondary to what we were trying to do with this team. And, and you know, what my feelings and my enjoyment, you know, will always be there if, for being mentioned with Coach Jordan. You know, when they say who, you know, Blakeney played for Jordan and they have the same number of wins, you know, I just, for these kids' sake, I hope we can eclipse his numbers and move on past it. Big news also came from the Troy football program along with the victory. Freshman defensive end Jamal Statham was named the Sunbelt Conference Defensive Player of the Week. Senior Chandler Worthy was also given a weekly award. He received the Sunbelt Conference Special Teams Player of the Week. Statham recorded 10 tackles and two sacks in Sunbelt play thus far and forced a fumble in Saturday's game. Worthy was the first Sunbelt player to return a kickoff for a touchdown this season. The team will be back in action Saturday as they take on Appalachian State at home at 2 p.m. The soccer team was also away over the weekend. The team played in Boone, North Carolina, where they lost 3-2 in double overtime. Troy then headed to San Marcos, Texas to take on Texas State. The Trojans fell to the Bobcats 2-0 in that game. Texas State scored a goal in each half, securing a victory. Troy had 19 shots, 9 being on goal, while Texas State only had 10, three of which were on goal. Texas State's goalkeeper, Caitlin Reinhardt, had nine saves throughout the game, stopping Troy's attempt at scoring a goal. Troy's one chance at scoring came from freshman Natalie Melillo in the second half. Her shot came from the distance and hit the crossbar, which was then cleared away by Texas State. Head coach Jason Hamilton says that his team had their chances but could not take advantage of them. You know, I think both games we outshot the other teams. Um, we had quality chances. We just couldn't, you know, couldn't take advantage of those chances and put the game away. And, um, you know, they had... You know, a few chances and we're able to capitalize. This was the only second shutout for the Trojans this season. The volleyball team was on the road this weekend as they took on the two Louisiana Sunbelt teams. On Friday, the Trojans fell 2-3 to three to ULM in five sets. On Saturday, Troy then took on ULL. Troy fell in yet another five-set match. The Raging Cajuns defeated the Trojans 3-2. to two. Troy took the first set but was answered as ULL took the second set. Troy came back to win the third, but could never clinch the final set to take the victory. Instead, the Raging Cajuns took the last two sets. Maria Zelinovic and Blair Winston tied for kills with 12 each, followed by Simone Shaw with 11 kills. And assistant coach Lizzie Clow said the team improved, but needs a confidence boost. Friday, we had Monroe, and in my opinion, we didn't really play as well as we could have, but um, you know, it was it was good for them to bounce back from that. I was proud for them for bouncing back and playing. Um, hard on Saturday. They fought hard on Saturday against Lafayette and um, you know both of them we were up 2-1 and just couldn't catch a break on some of the plays so um, you know we just we just got to get our confidence back about us and then kind of push through to the next series. Troy is third in blocks in the Sun Belt right below UALR and UT Arlington. 
The men's golf team came in fourth place this past Tuesday for the Auto Trader Collegiate Classic. Philip Brennan led the Trojans as he finished tied for fourth on the individual leaderboard. Brennan shot for a three under 69 in the second round to move within four shots of Carter Jenkins from UNC Greensboro at the top of the leaderboard. Brennan also had a team high of seven birdies. Jake Tucker tied for 14th as he, as he carded one under in the first round with a birdie and an eagle. Jared Betcher tied for 19th while Luke Moser and Tolver Dozier both tied for 34th. And Clayton Vinoy tied for 72nd place, shooting a 160. Head coach Matt Terry says that his team missed some opportunities. However, they performed well in the more difficult holes on the course. He had some hiccups in different right. places that, that we really feel like we could have made some birdies. But we took advantage of some harder holes, the harder holes in the course that uh, typically are the higher scoring holes where we made birdies this week. And that kind of shows you that, you know, the, the holes aren't hard to our guys in, in some, you know, sometimes. But, you know, if we do that, then we've still got to take advantage of the holes that we think we need to get after. And Troll have their final fall tournament in College Grove, Tennessee at the Intercollegiate at the Grove. The women's golf team finished up the JU Classic. The Trojans finished second place in a tournament of 12. Troy's final tally was 897, which marks the fourth lowest mark in school history and just two marks off the record that was set last fall in the Fred Marks Invitational. Sophomore Fatima Fernandez-Cano made her second top 10 finish in the past three tournaments. She shot a 6 over 222 after carding a 75. Langley Benoit turned in one a few under par rounds in the tournament as she shot one under 71. The team will wrap up fall play soon. The women's team finished, wrapped up play at the USCA IT Southern Regional Championships on Sunday. Junior Trang Hoon was the only Trojan to make it into Sunday's round. Hoon lost to Tulane's Jackie Katz in a 6-3 loss and a 6-4 loss. Hoon made it to the round of 16 in the consolation singles draw after winning two matches on Saturday. Freshman Sine Oda also competed throughout the tournament and did well. She won two matches on Friday, which advanced her to Saturday, where she won, won before falling to Julia Jones of Ole Miss. The Trojans will be back on the court Friday when they compete in the Sanford Fall Round Robin. Still to come on Trojan Sports Now, we'll have a review, preview of football team's matchup at Blaston State. But first, I had the chance to sit down with men's basketball head coach Phil Cunningham. Stick around for more Trojan Sports Now. <laughs>